There you are. Welcome back. We're at Neil's for another project. What's hey, Neil. up? How What's are up, you? man? So the last time you were here, this workshop was in disarray. Totally now different. I'm building things. The last time you were here as well, we built a 3D frame together. You really did good though. This looks pretty good. This looks pretty good, man. Yeah. It's like you was... know what you're doing. <laughs> That's right. That big giant 3D printed frame, hundreds of hours. I have uh, put all of these frames of portraits of people, including myself and my husband, David, into a room. Check this out. Pretty great, right? So I thought, how can we make this next level? So I have another idea, which is to take um, like a LED screen and mount that onto the wall and have moving images, a la Harry Potter. Am I allowed to say that without getting sued? Yeah, this is YouTube, Harry Potter, man. It's sort of like that, except instead of the talking people in the f picture frame, I want it to be really, 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 really slow. It looks like a portrait, but if you stare at it for a while, it's the person slowly moving. It's one so of those things where you look at it, you look away, you look back, and it and might like, be slightly yeah. different. Is that kind person smiling there. now? That's kind of the I idea. See. I see. So I need a frame for that. Oh, I see. A frame for the LED TV right. that because you have this is a right there. Giant, giant uh, piece of art, but a technical, technological piece of art. So I came back to you because you know how to make, you know, bespoke frames. Well, the requirements that Neil gave me were to have the frame, the size of this LED screen, but also yep. to almost look uh, found. Old and Correct, found. because you want to offset the actual technology with something that makes it feel like it has been exactly. in, in an attic somewhere. And then knowing that, rather than utilize the many different classic consumer 3D printers before, we went a different way and we utilized a machine from our friends at the company Massivit. Massivit in that it's a massive machine and what can take hundreds of hours with consumer machines takes dozens. So what we have is the ability to print the entire frame all at once. This I'm excited about because the ones we did before, super great, not passing judgment, but lots of little pieces. But I think all of those little pieces, there were lots of them. So we went a different direction. This one uses a gel that's cured with UV light oh, instantly. Snap. And this bead of gel is extruded really fast. And that's why these machines made these in dozens of hours instead of hundreds, hundreds of, of hours. hours. So instead of filament, that's what I'm used to. What is the, the gel is a similar process? Yes, they call it diamond gel. Uh -huh. And the gel is just extruded through a nozzle, just like you have on a 3D printer. Uh -huh. Rather than melting plastic, it's extruding gel. Wow. And around the circumference of this nozzle is a set of UV lights. So it's as it's extruding the gel, it cures it. You've had those tiny little UV pens that kind of cure a gel. Yep. Imagine this, but in an area four feet by five feet by six feet with movements controlled by a robot. I watched a video of you when you had a, built a version of yourself. Yeah, six feet tall in six hours. That used the UV lights. That's Is that right. the similar idea? That's exactly it. That yes. technology that nice. made the six foot me is making the two frames for you. <laughs> and what's great, because we utilize their machine and their technology rather than hundreds of pieces that were shipped to you, nice. it's just a couple. Nice, and that's what's inside here? Almost. So those couple pieces were taken by Daniels Woodland, mm -hmm. an attraction and theming company that we've worked with before. Amazing. And they took those frames and professionally painted and oh, finished them. Nice. That's what's in this box. I have not personally seen what's in this box. Same. I'm excited to see it, so I can't even imagine how you're feeling right I now. I cannot wait. Listen, in, in my, my free time, my happy time, is not playing video games and like lay, laying around by the pool. <laughs> it's, take, it's taking frames and distressing them and making them look older. It's like taking Halloween props and making them look more authentic. I love this stuff, so I can't wait to see what's inside. Wait, I can't wait now? to see it. Let's do it. All right, we're getting this real one, close. Let me see are you, are you ready? Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, so we can drop that. All right. It's, it's here. Oh. Oh, there's, okay, so you got this one. Yeah. Wow. Whoa! Wow. wow, it's fairly heavy. That's great. 
Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. So, like the whole depth of the screen itself, right? Yeah, it's it's made Which so that the screen fits within the bezel. And then it looks great. Look at that. Wow. And you've got two of them. Wow. So the same people that designed the previous frames that we used, yeah. uh, Garrett and Chelsea at, nice. at Chaos yeah. Cortec, they designed this one as well. Neil, what's really great is is, is how this looks, and that was thanks to what Daniels Woodland did. Mm. The process for this is kind of interesting. So that printer, when it spits out whatever models it's printing, there's there are some layering that you can see. Mm -hmm. And so what Daniels Woodland does is they shave down the peaks and they fill in the valleys, mm -hmm. and that gets them a nice flat surface that they can apply primer and paint to. And then the artisans can go in and make everything look brassy and old. And There's and, lots uh, of layers. Out. Clearly they did like a base coat, then an overlay. So what they, they did is they, they had a gold paint on this, mm -hmm. and then they brought in a dark wash. Nice. And then they took that rag and, and wiped away the dark wash. And so it took away nice. the dark on top of the, the yeah. details, but left it in the valleys. That's great. Okay, so we've got one here. There's a second one here. Second one right here. I mean, I feel like the next thing we have to do is like, Put them on the wall and see what they look like. And laser the nameplates. Shall we? Can we do that? Yeah, watch this. This is called an edit point. So with the Glowforge, you can't directly laser brass right. because the laser isn't powerful enough to etch the material. And so that's where something like this comes in. This is called a laser marking spray and it's from Surmark. What this does is it creates a coating on any material. So whether it be brass or other metals or glass or mm. ceramics or whatever, the laser then interacts with this spray and then that spray becomes etched onto the metal. Nice. And then the rest of it just washes away with water That's and you're left with something that looks really cool. Yeah, let's set it in. All right. Look at that, both of them, done. Okay, so Neil, yep. this is it. This is the culmination, multiple years. We've got, we've got custom nameplates. We've got footage of you and David up there. Everything is set. Have a look at what's finally done. Oh wow, that's great. Isn't that awesome? So now you and David each filmed footage in high speed. So it's in slow motion. This is a beta test. This is not what it'll finally look like, but no. I was very curious to see the idea is that you look at these portraits and you're not supposed to know that they're screens or that anything's moving. And it's only after you really stare at them for a minute that you go, wait a second, are they, are they moving? Or you look at them and then you look Are they smiling and now they're frowning? <laughs> well, the effect is there with this beta test. Wow, it looks so you, cool. You've got the effect and the frames look great up on the wall and the brass plates that we did on the Glowforge see. really show it. Harper, you want to see? Isn't it's that great? Wild. It looks really good. <laughs> you have to stand, like if you look at one for a while, and then by the time you look at the other, something has changed. Wow, it's very cool. The frames look amazing. I'm, I'm really happy you like them. Again, the frames were designed by Chaos Cortec, the yeah. same people that did the, that did the other frames. Uh, they were printed on the Massivit machine, because they're massive frames, and they were finished by Daniels Woodland in California, wow. and then lovingly installed here in New York. Obviously, this is a fun project, and I'm glad we have finality. Indeed. Well, you know what? For everyone out there watching, thanks for making this far in the episode, because if you did, you're awesome. And thanks for joining awesome. Neil and I on this wonderful journey. And uh, hug each other more. And as always, um, high five. High five. You want one? Harper, you want one? Thank you. Nailed it.